Welcome to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy here with Detroit Lakes Police Officer Bo Schroeder. And uh, Bo, you are the, high, the uh, school liaison officer. That's correct. And uh, you are here today. We're seeing some uh, exhibition driving of sorts. And uh, it's kind of all a part of the Safe and Sober campaign that the, the um, police department and the state patrol and a number of other entities are uh, working with as we approach not only the prom season, but also the summer season. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here today. What are these students being asked to do? Well, we've set up some obstacle courses and we have some impaired vision goggles um, owned by the State Patrol and lent to the school district for this this week. We're doing our Safe and Sober campaign. Um, they, they come in three levels, low, moderate, and high. Um, what they are, they simulate uh, someone's coordination and balance at a certain alcohol concentration so uh, the kids can kind of get to see what it's like you know if with low levels of intoxication all the way up to a 2.0 which is two and a half times the legal limit to drive okay and most of these kids that are doing this uh, they don't I actually have to have a license right now so they're you're it's obviously in the high school so they're freshmen through seniors right okay so there are there are some kids here that, that don't have licenses, but the majority of them do, um, being late in the year. And uh, you know, some of them that think that it's gonna be a lot easier than it is have proven themselves wrong. We're seeing a lot of cones getting hit and people going off the course, so I think it's a good learning tool. Okay, and what else is going on uh, during the Safe and Sober campaign? We've got some other activities. Uh, we've got a rollover simulator outside. We ran that during lunch yesterday. We'll probably be doing that again this week, um, switching up with the, the bike courses here. Uh, we've got uh, a crash car out there, an actual vehicle that was uh, part of a, a fatality crash in Minnesota um, due to impaired driving. Um, I've been driving a forfeiture vehicle that the State Patrol forfeited from a, an impaired driver. Um, there's some, some storyboards and reading material that go along with that. So there's quite a bit going on from our end. Uh, the school chemical health coordinator, Angie Horner, is doing a ghost out too. That's been going on all week. And I think Thursday will be the, tomorrow will be the, the actual ghost out. They're kind of building up the facts right now. Okay. There's quite a bit going on. All right. I'm here today with Bo, Bo Schroyer, a Detroit Lakes police officer, and uh, we're in the midst of a safe and sober week here at the high school. And we're going to take a quick break and be back with more Hometown Happenings after this. Welcome back to Hometown Happenings. Carol McCarthy here with Officer Bo Schroyer from the Detroit Lakes Police Department. And uh, you'll see as we're talking, uh, some of the kids are involved in doing an obstacle course today. Where do you get these bikes from again, uh, the bikes and kind of the setup? Uh, the bicycles are property of the school district. The, the special ed students use them as a form of physical therapy. So they've graciously lent them out to us so we can uh, set this up and uh, cones and all the other equipment are just from the fire department. Okay, and then you have the goggles, as you said, from the state patrol. Yep. And there are different versions. There's a low, moderate, and high that simulate the uh, the different, uh, I guess, the different um, stages one might go through if they have too many drinks. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the things. You, you, it's a safe and sober week, so uh, what are the kids? I mean, you get a chance to kind of be one on one with all the kids, and uh, you know, what are some of the things that you're telling these kids? We're ultimately we're promoting you know, safety, making good decisions. Um, you know, we don't want to see anybody end up dead through prom, graduation, and through the summer when, when a lot of kids start making decisions that aren't as wise. You know, the weather's warming up, a lot of fun stuff going on, parties, no school. Um, seminar we had last week hit on a lot of those points. Slow down, wear your seatbelt, absolutely don't drink and then drive. You know, don't get in a vehicle with someone that's been drinking. Don't allow your friends to drive after they've been drinking. Okay. Ultimately, just want to see the kids have a safe summer and make it back to school next year. Okay. All right. Now, have you have you uh, tried out the course yourself? I have. All right. And uh, how'd you fare? I passed with flying colors. <laughs> okay. I, with the I took it slowly. <laughs> All right. Okay. And uh, now, as far as you know, maybe parents are watching this too. Uh, it's a good chance for them to maybe sit down and uh, kind of talk to their kids about the, the uh, maybe the perils of drinking and driving, and, and during, especially as we said during this prom and summer season. Absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of parents of of young kids, high school age. Some of them have had their license for a few years, and 
there's kids here that are, you know, every day they're a new group of kids that are getting their license as they turn 16 and, and take the testing. So, you know, potentially there's some kids out there that are inexperienced drivers already. Um, when we start adding speed, you know, friends in the vehicle, text messaging, alcohol, other drugs, um, it's definitely going to cause some serious issues with judgment and just experience. So I definitely encourage parents to, to go ahead and sit down with your kids and have a talk with them. I think they'll appreciate it. Have you ever thought of having a kid text while they're biking? <laughs> I haven't, <laughs> that but that's a good idea. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll have them do that. Be a little more dangerous even. All right, I'm here with Bo Schroyer, Detroit Lakes Police Officer, and uh, we've also had some comments from some of the students who have taken part in this uh, obstacle course here, and of course I will be uh, doing it myself. So we're going to take a break right now from Hometown Happenings and be back with more after this. All right, I'm standing here with Isaac, who has just performed the obstacle course here with the goggles. How did it go, Isaac? It was really awkward because you couldn't see straight. Like, when you tried to turn, everything would move on you, and it was very difficult. Ashton, tell us what you were seeing on that bicycle. Okay, it's really dark, and like everything's kind of moving back and forth when you go, and uh, I don't know, everything feels like it's moving when it's not. It's weird. Did you have the, the worst, like the, the... Yeah, I had the wasted ones. <laughs> okay, Levi, how was the goggle obstacle course for you? It was actually pretty tough. Uh, it was all disorienting, and if there wasn't a back on the bike, I would have fallen off. Melissa, what was it like? It was interesting. I couldn't really see straight. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I kept hitting the little bubble things. Jacob, describe the bicycle obstacle course for us. It's a lot tougher than it looks, and if it was a real car, I would have been over the median into a ditch on the other side of the road. All right, and you are a licensed driver. Yes, and so that's a scary thing to think about. Okay, so this is 0.07 to 0.10, so this is with, uh, this is just over the legal limit. I think 0.8, 0.8 is the legal limit. And have you ever looked in one of those viewers that make everything, whoa. Okay, so everything's a little bit sideways right now. <laughs> well, okay, and the, everything's kind of wavy, gravy here. I think these are a little bit more difficult. <laughs> okay, and then we gotta get back on the course. Uh, going in and out of the little balls. I think this bike is rigged. So here we go. Oh, okay, so this is just within the, just over the legal limit, and I think I hit something there. These are the high, and these are 0.17 to 0.2, so this is double the legal limit. And this is going to be interesting because the last time it was pretty bad. Uh, this one's just a little bit more wavy. And I feel like I'm floating above these little discs here. Actually, this one's going, whoa, okay. So this one is just a little bit wavier and a little bit more, ooh. Uh, yeah, so it's harder to find my direction on this one. Actually, I think the other one, just because I wasn't used to it, was a little bit harder. But this one, yeah, this one definitely is tough. Uh, feels like the things are right there but they're probably over there so here we go double the limit 